This is the last week of East Coast Swing 1, Stretch and Momentum. So, we started off the class talking about differences in East Coast Swing and Lindy. I'm uh, talking about Lindy is a little more grounded as opposed to East Coast Swing. Which is a little bit more up on your toes, a little bit bouncier, works better with the later music. And we got into talking about stretch, so we started off with this exercise where we moved away from our partner sitting on our back foot, and moved into our partner with our weight over our front foot, so we had our stretch and our compression. And then we got into some moves. So first we started off with a sugar push, looks a little something like this. Rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, triple step. So there's a stretch on the rock step and a compression on the first triple step of the sugar push. We then got into uh, kind of a free spin from our sugar push, so it looked like rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, triple step, triple step. Again. Looks like rock, step, triple, triple, rock, step, triple, triple. And the last thing we did was a variation on the catapult. And we over this angle. So it starts off with an underarm turn. Rock, step, triple, step, triple, step, rock, step, triple, step, triple, step. And then we did a variation where instead of a turn on the end, we just walked off. That was our class.